Hi friends, welcome to Horshow Razor 91. Today I'm going to show you how to use the subcut feature tool in SolidWorks CAD software. For that, I created a rectangular box, solid box, and here on the surface, I want to create a, a, a path, a path cut using the subcut feature tool. For that I, I have to draw a curve line on this face. For that I am going to the select that face and go to the sketch feature manager tool and uh, select the spline tool. And uh, click here and uh, for that I have to make it on this so first face and, uh, and uh, select this face and click spline tool and I want to create a profile like this simply showing a, an example example uh, yeah that's it and uh, using this the tool you can move your curve you can also adjust the point by using like this this, this is the spline direction control controller you can make it make smoothen your curve here like that okay uh, again move the view to the isometric view select this face and uh, make it normal to the profile Same like this and uh, draw a circular on that uh, end of the spline and uh, one of the main rule is the path must be coincide with the profile check the uh, it's coincident that is the relation between this the point okay and uh, exit sketch we already created uh, the path and uh, the sketch profile to swept apply swept cut okay go to the features command manager and uh, select the swept cut and profile sweep uh, like this uh, because I'm drawing a profile and uh, I also draw the path file first you have to select the profile like this and then the path this is the path yeah the preview is already shown I'm here I am oh, the orientation is follow path you can also apply the keep normal constant mm, for, not first path because I didn't draw the first grade girl and second grade girl. and you can also twist the path along the curve by applying the degree like this like this here I am using the simple one normal path method you can also apply the thin feature also here uh, if you want <coughs> but uh, it's also a cutting process so I am not need to apply the thin feature ok Just click ok to the apply the swept cut the profile is like this early show i will show the top portion yes this is the cut and uh, again this way you can create the use the swept cut feature in solworks too solworks cat software and thank you friends see you in the next tutorial bye bye